I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. So welcome to the Open Info Summit plus PTG feedback session. Um, I think most of these faces are pretty familiar, but if you haven't attended this before, this is where we open up to the community to hear what you liked, what you maybe didn't like, any questions that you may have around the logistics, as well as the content that um, we had here this week. Um, Kendall here is showing the Etherpad where we are gathering responses. Feel free to jump in there and start typing around these different categories. But we also have a mic here if you'd rather just talk through it with us. Um, here with us we have, so Kendall and I are from the foundation who hosted the event, but we also have our amazing production team, F and Tech, in the back, as well as Tippett, who manages all of our software and schedule. Um, so if you have feedback, this isn't like something where we want you to be like, everything was great. Like, we want to hear it because we want to fix it. It's a community event, so you as the community can help us fix things that may not have gone well for you. So that said, the way that we organize this is we put some different categories up here, so we kind of go through those and see what folks are saying. Um, so first, we'll start with location. Vancouver is awesome. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty. You can see it, yeah. Um, exhibit. Exhibit A, yeah. Um, okay. And this is, who here is coming to the Vancouver OpenStack or Open Infra Summit for the first time? Okay, who went to 2018? All right, and who went to 2015? All right, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs> okay, um, it's diverse, okay. We did have people from over 50 countries, which is really exciting. Um, and 50% of the people here are new to an open infra event, so also great. You can always steal this away if you ever want it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm cool. I'm right here. <laughs> Um, diverse. Um, let's go to the venue, the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi's worked great. Clark thinks it was flaky for him, but what? What devices do you have? I didn't hear what that was. ThinkPad laptop. Thanks. It's been a day. Oh. Okay. During the labs, it was slow to load. Okay. Fifteen. Oh, that's great. I mean, that's great for one part of it. <laughs> okay, fifteen people for the labs made it hard. Some androids. Well, that's because you're using an android. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> um, more people love Vancouver. Okay. Attendance. Did you get to meet some cool people? <laughs> yeah. I, so I put attendance on there with regards to the sessions, oh, the, sessions. the individual sessions, as yeah. opposed to overall. Yeah. So were, were forum sessions well attended? Were your talks well attended? Was it standing room only? That sort of thing. Yes, no. Yeah, yeah. people are typing. Personally, this was my only session, and it looks pretty good. I'll take it. <laughs> Forums were pretty well attended. Good. My keynote went pretty well. Yeah, your keynote did. Her, her demo worked. I think Guillerme is still here somewhere. Okay. Yay, Guillerme and Matt and Kendall for their forum or their keynote demo working. Where the hell is my t shirt? Oh, sorry. Uh, metrics Corner. Baturgy is our metrics partner. I'm typing on my phone. Oh, <laughs> Tahir, do you want to just say it out loud? There's a mic, There's a mic right here, yeah. We love our official metrics partner, Baturgia. Thank you, thank you. Uh, one thing that I liked better last year at mm -hmm. the Berlin event was that we had breaks, oh, and yeah. so we could have our sessions in between breaks and people walking through in between sessions. Mm -hmm. This time it was a little harder. Yep. Okay. That's good feedback, and I, I, uh, I emailed with y'all a few times, and I was like, oh, that's true. We didn't like create that this time. So that's really good feedback on that. What about the positioning? Were y'all good in the marketplace? I know you were in the hallway the last time. Was this better, worse, same? The, the noise level was very high. High. It's hard to have conversation. Okay. Noise level is too high. Um, issues loading the schedule from time to time. I think that we figured out what that bug was. Tip it, yeah. Yeah. It was a day one bug. It was a day one bug? Okay. 
Magic time. Couple forum sessions were standing. Oh, a couple forum sessions were standing room only. That's great. Um, T-shirts. Yeah. Anyone who's seen someone wearing a We Are Open Infra T-shirt, they ask us this question immediately. Um, so yes, we did tote bags this time, but we do um, have huh? Coolers. Cool oh, coolers. Excuse me. Um, they could be a tote bag too. But anyways, so I would also like a hell T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have, we have actually have finally stood up an online store of some sorts where we can actually distribute t-shirts and other kinds of swag more efficiently and we've been testing it out over the last few months because it has um, store or like warehouses throughout the world so our community is really diverse so is this swag store concept and so it actually decreases a lot of the costs that we initially found so I'm hoping that even between events T-shirts, swag, everything will become more accessible. But not for a hell T-shirt, whatever that might be. Um, okay. Oh, the hallway track was good. Oh. There's a, there's a microphone. We can't hear you. Sorry, Wes. What if we want an extra cooler? We have extra coolers, so if you would like one, they are here. They're down at registration. So we have around 75 extra. We ordered extra just to be sure. We had one for everyone. Um, so if you'd like to take one home to the family or a community member in your area that wasn't able to attend, please do so. Offsite lunch, great to get out of the venue for air and space. That's great. Did y'all feel like it was enough time for offsite lunch that you could come back and still attend sessions and get to the marketplace? Yeah, okay. That's good. Great location. Thanks, micro oh, board meeting. Enough time, yeah. Board meeting was, yes, thank you to Microsoft for hosting. That location was really sweet. All right, Marketplace. So I know we have a few folks who actually staffed the booths in the audience, as well as folks who ideally attended them as well. Any feedback on the layout, what the booths provided, the swag that you got? <laughs> Noisy, a little tight. Mm. <laughs> this is fun. It would have been nice if the patio was a bit more, I don't know, like you could sit out there or something. Okay. Like, yeah, so similar to like Berlin where it was like a much larger space. Yeah. It, I mean, it just kind of set out where it, it kind of forces you to only be there for like a few minutes yeah. right now. And it's like, eh. Oh, yeah, okay, that's good to know. So more signage around that being an area where you can go and take your mat, okay. Marketplace mixer every day, okay. <laughs> can you put your name next to it so you can sponsor it? Or your company, yeah. yeah no, <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> um, can be bigger. Okay, afternoon keynote. So this one definitely was a switch up. Um, I'll provide a quick thing around the reasoning just because we had a limited load in and so we wanted to make sure that the entire summit footprint as well as the keynotes was exactly what was perfect for our community. So um, the keynotes were awesome. It was a nice capture of the day. That's great. Thank you all for attending because, yeah. <laughs> Um, jet lag hit pretty hard. Yeah, me too. Um, it's only two hours difference. It's nap time. It was after a long day. It's after a really long day. That's that's fair. Did the like snacks help though? Like having something to like eat and like as a refreshment. Yes, good. Yeah, beer. You missed the keynotes. The beer. Um, well, personal problem. Um. Jet lag might have been the, com the complimentary beer might have been a jet lag issue. Perfect. Snacks were great. The late time helped for those of us with delayed flights. Oh, that's a really good point. Okay. I know we had quite a few folks. I think this whole CERN team was delayed. Um, I know. And we, they had to see us call them out because it's, it's a keynote. Um, merged. That awesome. Okay. Your score? All right, so forum. 
Good. I'm going to skip the set. So if you have BOF or presentations feedback, feel free to drop that in. But we're going to go down to the things that already have comments to discuss. So the forum, good content and good discussions. Um, glad to have a lot of operators joining. Awesome. Almost all forum sessions were packed. That's great. Um, 30 minutes was a little short in time, um, so an hour. So increasing to an hour, it looks like, is a really popular. So for the like timing of the forum sessions, we had 30 minute sessions and we had 70 minute sessions. And in order to meet the demand with regards to the number of submissions that we got, a lot of them only, we, we only had space for 30 minute sessions, only a few made it as 70 uh, minutes. So we expanded into a third day instead of just having it for the first two days. And that gave us a little bit more flexibility, but we still only had so many 70 minute sessions. Um, but something to think about for the future. Maybe we flip flop it and have more 70 minute sessions and less 30 minute sessions, but that will be less forum sessions overall then. So, pros and cons. <laughs> Um, do people have opinions on the forum and PTG overlap? Because that happened for both days of the PTG. Bad. Bad. So I guess, like, from that perspective, like, is it better to have, I mean, because even someone said, sorry, thank you. Um, even someone said, I was reading down that, like, it concurred with interesting talks, so... Is it, I mean, I know in the ideal world, of course, I would assume that the PTG would not overlap with anything from the summit or the forum. I, is that, a, yeah. like, that's the ideal, like, everything works world? Okay. Um, what is, like, if the PTG had to overlap with something, what could it overlap with that would have the le like, least amount of impact on the PTG itself and the involvement? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's adjustable. <laughs> I feel so little. Um, now, I know at we, the PTG was brought in at the last minute in the contract, and that's why there was the overlap. I mean, I think the most ideal solution is sessions with some form overlap, and then, like, if we were Monday through Wednesday with Summit itself, and then changed Wednesday to Friday or Thursday to Friday, I think is the most ideal. I mean, it, it still means more hotel room for folks, but at least you're saving on the flights. Yeah, so I think it's more hotel rooms and it's more space for the production side. So yeah, so there's definitely a lot of budget impacts with that. But like, in the future, like, I mean, a lot of times as the events have, you know, changed and evolved, like, things are going to have to overlap. So maybe it's an ongoing conversation with what overlap provides the most productivity to continue. Because, you know, because we have, our staff looked at all of the schedule before it went out. And huge thanks to Clark, actually. He highlighted, I think it was like 20 or 30 changes. He's like, we need to move these sessions from overlapping. And when the PTG schedule went live, we were like, okay, these sessions need to change. The Nova Ironic people can't be in the same space at the same time. Like, so we actually proactively made sure that like specific projects or specific topics didn't overlap as much as we could. So um, it's definitely something that's evolving. It's something that we welcome community participation on to ensure we have. But, um, but yeah, it's a little unavoidable sometimes. Also, we welcome your feedback on that. So if you look at the schedule a week, two weeks out, and you see something that is a glaringly obvious conflict, please let us know, and we will do our best to address it. Because we look at it day after day after day after day, and it's all shuffling and changing. And sometimes things get missed, because we're a finite number of people. I, I didn't even see that the PC and the board sessions on Tuesday overlapped, and I was in both. So <laughs> well, let's and I to move. <laughs> But I want to give a huge shout out to Josh. So Josh works at the foundation. And he single-handedly has been updating the schedule. Like tickets have been f flying in for the past several weeks. And every day I'm like, Josh, are you okay? Like it's definitely been a lot. He's been stationed at Reg, meeting all of the speakers for the conference, getting them situated. So I just want to do a huge shout out because it's a lot sometimes. And all of the there's a lot of conflicts at once. <laughs> so thank you, Josh. This is his first summit, so he's like a little newbie back there. <laughs> um, okay, having an in-person PTG is nice, and having it together or directly after the summit is good, but maybe not in the middle of the cycle. Okay, not many developers came to the PTG sessions. Do you mean that who and you, whoever you can put it in the Etherpad or say it out loud that developers on site didn't go to the PTG sessions, or 
developers from the community didn't come to the in-person PTG. So, sorry? Come here, okay. So we did have, yeah, so he was saying that the community didn't come here. So we did have a lot of challenges with that in terms of international travel budgets or people's willingness to travel. Um, so it was our first in-person PTG in four years in Shanghai, yeah. So it was definitely, we were considering or seeing how it was, but was it a particular project that was impacted or do you mean overall? Neutron, okay. Can we put coffee servers in the PTG room? That was an intentional, we left it up here to dra like to uh, attract more attention to like the sponsors who are helping us put on this event and to thank them for paying for that coffee. Um, but we can try and make it either closer or something like that. But um, a lot of that does come down to budget and cost. And if you want to sponsor it, we will put it down there for you. <laughs> room was empty a couple of times I went there. Okay, it was a big, large room. But a lot of the feedback that we actually got ahead of time is that some people wanted to Zoom people in, so I was hoping that with the distributed, or the large room, folks could distribute and maybe have more conversations that weren't as impacted by the noise. A regional cafe, okay. All present here. Oh, this was great. So all present teams being in the same room enabled cross-team conversations and collaboration opportunities. That is what we had the PTG for, so that's fantastic. It would have been great if we could have nailed down times and locations before the start, but overall my team is happy. What team was this? Who wants to? Oh, Kata Containers. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, times and locations before the start. We can work on that and like kind of front load it a little bit more ahead of time. That's, that's great feedback. Please don't overlap with the forum. Yeah, that's what I was, if it was going to overlap, overlap with the summit recorded sessions, not the forum. Okay. And I will say intentionally that was, or originally that was Kendall's like big point internally and, sh and then we got an overwhelming demand for more forum sessions. It was actually supposed to only be Tuesday um, and then we extended it to Wednesday as well. So that one, it's, it's yeah, we can work on that a bit more but we did try a little bit this time. Maybe I'll bring this to me too, okay. Printed list, okay. So yeah. Um, So it was some PTG bot feedback. Well, I don't think it's necessarily the PTG bot, at least on my point, is I would look at the schedule, but then you have to go somewhere else online. So it's getting... Because <laughs> <laughs> it's already We adjusted it for you, yeah. I know, I already adjusted it. So it was more the having to look at multiple places? Yeah, I did hear that feedback. So the schedule for the summit, not having the PTG schedule in it, and having to go to the PTG bot to find it. And also the lack of the app being updated for... The app. The mobile app? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you would go there and you could at least click through to the schedule and do it on the website? Mm hmm Even if there was maybe a link in there to the PTB... PT, the PTG there is. Bot. In the PTG collaborative session description, there should be a link to the PTG bot. I mean, I intentionally put my session right after the speed mentoring so that I would remember that my session was taking place. <laughs> so background, the reason why we um, didn't have all the PTG sessions in the like official summit schedule is because it's really um, set up to be signed up for impromptu sessions. Like some teams will plan quite far ahead and others you know, we're signing up for time like yesterday for today or vice versa. And so keeping that up to date would probably make Josh's life a living hell. <laughs> and we like Josh and we want him to stick around. So we didn't make him do that this time. <laughs> but um, we can definitely look into trying to integrate and import things, especially as there is now iCal. Um, support being merged into the PTG bot so that you can import those sessions onto your own calendar. So something to look into in the future for sure. But that was why for this time. We like Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a good since we like Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, da, da, da. Connecting members who weren't able to make it to the summit worked well, but just because the room was big and pretty empty. <laughs> So almost no background noise. That was intentional. We did that on purpose. <laughs> so yes. 
Okay, yeah, that's a, a hardware ask, yeah. Um, this time we didn't have the budget for that, but it's something we can try to consider for the future, definitely. Why Omaha, Nebraska? Yeah, who's saying that? <laughs> what? Actually, oh, uh, Omaha. Omaha's actually nice. I went there for an event. It was actually really nice. Is it an international airport, even? I kind of don't think it is. <laughs> no, I know. I don't think they do, which means like that's off the list then. <laughs> Lots of people like Seoul. I like Seoul. The food's great. The people are awesome. Public transit is stellar there. People are very excited about Seoul. Yeah. Uh, do we want to go back through one more quick time? Oh, if people have feedback on the CEF day, too, I have a spot for that towards the bottom. Um, CEF day. Has anybody attended any of the CEF day sessions? Did we know CEF day was this happening? Guy. One guy. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Was it good? <laughs> Those good sessions? Place, huh? It's still, it's still taking place. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good for them. Except they may not have been here for the whole week, so they're not as burnt out as we all are. Oh, so that's interesting. So the breaks weren't long enough to get to sessions? Is there a, I haven't seen so we had 10-minute breaks between the sessions, and we thought that because of the proximity of the breakout sessions to each other and the forum sessions and the PTG, that 10 minutes would be sufficient. But did it not feel like, did it feel like you were having to rush and not have any time for a break or to grab coffee or a snack or something? I have no idea what you just said. What? I was going from room to room. Okay. But you had enough time? I think we were running over, and therefore I was going from room to room. So sessions running over impacted that. Okay. Um, you kind of meant, okay. We're back in room. No app. So no app. Okay. Kind of miss event right app for scheduling. I don't even know what the scheduling capability was there. So what scheduling, if this person doesn't mind, what scheduling capability do you miss from Eventbrite? Or was it SCED instead of Eventbrite? Or do you mean SCED, or do you mean? That would be kind okay. of like You meant SCED? Yeah. Okay, so what capability do you feel like you're missing? Can you use the mic, Treva? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Um, Having the SCED app and having like reminders 10 minutes before a session started, that is super helpful, especially when like you're like running from room to yeah. room. I missed a couple of things because um, I was having to load up the actual web page because iOS is a jerk and didn't want to subscribe to the calendar um, link that was provided, which was great by the way, but. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't want to put it to your calendar, but SCED would actually send those through its own notification system. Okay, it's right. good feedback. Yep. Oh, okay. iCal had problems with that. Uh, another thing that I've noticed that SCED does is it will also send you like a preview of your day. Oh. So it'll be like, these are all the ses sessions you have on your schedule. Now you get to type on somebody else's laptop. Let's all enjoy this. <laughs> it's going pretty well. No app. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Do we... Bad who, who missed having an app? One, One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you Android people or are you iOS people? One, Android. Android or Apple? Android, Android, Android. Apple. <laughs> Produce. Was, there was a, no, there wasn't an actual app in Berlin. We haven't had an app since. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Yes. Um, no, but kind of miss. Yeah. Um, website: the iCal export lacked room and location information. Okay, that's good feedback. Too many conflicts. That is the summit curse. It is hard. There's. That's great that there's a lot of things that you want to attend, though. So that's a positive. 
Even when we had a whole week, it was still a problem. Even when we had a whole, and that was even a bigger problem because then you're more exhausted. <laughs> it's hard to grab a pointer to a specific session from the schedule. Oh, like a link. Oh, a link. Okay. My laptop died during a workshop, and there weren't any sockets to charge. Okay. On the on that the app question. Oh. Can, you, I'm just curious what you wanted the app to do that the website doesn't do. Okay, that's good. If anybody has any input, we'd love to hear it. What do people miss from the mobile app? It being in the mobile app. <laughs> or what, what functionality is the mobile app has? Oh, the we tried to the 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 functionality. I know, it's, it's so yes, like, push like I bring it up there, it tells like, me everything I want, then I hit the and then I have to wait. And I'm waiting. Load time. And JP, oh, don't worry. Uh, he said caching the data as well. Then I go to full schedule. And I wait. So load time, caching, and push notification. And being able to find your schedule easily. Can you take the mic? I'm yeah. crazy. So Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my health t shirt? Yeah. yeah, I would like a hell t shirt, whatever <laughs> that is. Um, <laughs> sorry about whoever's laptop died. Yeah, that really. Will you make that's a usually me. Retrospect. Okay. <laughs> so when it comes to making a t-shirt retrospectively for the event itself, like the answer is probably no. Like it's not going to be a We Are Open Infra Vancouver 2023 shirt. That's um, because creating that, I don't think know if there'd be as much demand. But we do have, and I, someone's wearing it today. Thierry, right? Thierry, what you wearing? <laughs> yeah. What are you wearing, Thierry? Oh, never mind. So yesterday he had on a We Are Open Infra shirt that does not have a location. I'm proud. <laughs> Laundry is important. Um, no, so we do have an open infra, We Are Open Infra shirt that does not have a location on it, and that do we do have in a store. So if you run a community group, if you want just want it for you and your team, we welcome. Oh, it's the who liked the otter this week? Where's Lola? Lo Stand up, girl. Lola created the otter. And she, actually while you're standing, she created all of the awesome design and the graphics and she makes us look good. So thank you, Lola. Oh, wait, go back up. A map with, okay. Yeah, we can do a map in the future. That was, that's a good call. We thought about it, but we know that there's a lot in the proximity, but we should have done it. Yeah. Great location. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, all day coffee was great, right? Is that what that said? Sarah over there, she does all of our coffee and snacks. She makes sure that you're fed and caffeinated. So I've called her a lot this week, so she's, she's brought it. She also bakes excellent cookies. She also bakes excellent cookies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can sponsor those, too. Did it, what did folks think about the day one breakfast? Yeah? You really liked it? Okay. We were worried because, like, keynotes are in the morning are usually a pretty significant way to get people in the building, get everyone excited, get everyone engaged. So um, I'm glad that that worked. And, I, I mean, I came in here, and it was, it was squishy. So um, some people are – some people are gross? Can someone clarify? <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Late time over. Late fives, not late time zones. Add whiteboards to the forum rooms. Okay. Go to the other session. Oh, uh, okay. I see Amy. <laughs> How about Helsinki? Okay. Okay, actually here. So the future summits. So that is a question I was telling Wes earlier. I think I've fielded 20 times this week, and I think it might have actually been 20 times today. 
Um, so this is something that, I mean, raise your hand if you're at the keynotes. Whew. Okay, good. Okay, so we announced our two new regional hubs, one in Europe and one in Asia, as that is where we as a foundation are seeing the most growth from a membership perspective, an individual contributor perspective, and um, an adoption perspective. So the challenge is, is it's like, who's been to a summit, any summit before? Okay. So you know that like getting that international travel approved can be difficult, and it's something that we're hearing more and more, and we also had a significant m number of visas that were canceled for this event. So something that we're exploring um, is rethinking how we do events and how we do the summit. Um, so for a short answer, we don't have a location yet. We do not have a month or day yet, but what we want is to make this a community um, defined decision. We need to know where are your companies willing to send you? Where are you as a person willing to go? Because the hard part is, is events work when we're able to go together and that requires budget, that includes management approval, it includes taking time off to be able to engage in the conference. So right now it is a little bit of an open question because post pandemic, the event landscape has completely changed. You know, there's, we went from two summits a year to one, but we also went from even getting approval to go to like three separate events of any kind can be really difficult. So rethinking, are there other events we should um, co-locate with? Like FOSDEM has come up a lot this week. Who goes to FOSDEM? Yeah. So like thinking about events that we could, you know, go not have any overlapping content, but encourage audiences to go to both events. Are you raising your hand? No. Okay. Um, so... Like who, like, okay, between Asia and Europe, so we'll start with Europe, like who knows that they would have travel, f or would assume they would have travel funding to go to an open infra summit in Europe? All right, <laughs> thanks JP. <laughs> uh, how about Asia? Okay, and <laughs> thanks Helena, yeah. <laughs> Our team is really being responsive. And what, like, what about it depends? Like what are some of the factors that when you ask your management team for approval, they're like, what are, what are some of the questions that are asking you, and particularly related to the Open Infra Summit, that gets approval, or that changes approval to a maybe, or changes approval even to a no? What's the cost? Okay, cost, like total travel cost, plus this, the pass? Yep. Okay. What's your benefit to your employer? Yep, like to, in, in terms of revenue, like does it need to be revenue driven? Yeah. What's your goal to be there? Okay. And what about, does it differ between, what? Number of attendees. Number of, that's interesting, okay. What is the threshold for that? Who said that? I heard it over there. Vexos, is that you? Number of attendees? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what about, so, PTG versus summit. So does having the PTG at the summit make it easier to justify it for you, for those of you who want to participate with the PTG? Yes, yes, or, okay. Even though it's what? Even though it's a bad idea. Well, some bad ideas can be good, so, yeah. What other events are you going to that have similar audiences that you're like, they should be at an open infra summit? You don't get to you don't get to go to other things. I'm sorry, Tony. Supercomputing. Well, okay. Why would Fosdem be really hard for some people? Yeah, I I, I can't hear you, sorry. Sorry, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> One of the issues with co-locating with Bosdom is that there's so many other fringe events. So like I know Centos and the Chaos Project already have a presence there. So it's almost like we need to co-locate with an event that's already co-located there, such as one of those communities. Thank you. <laughs> what about KubeCon? Who goes to KubeCon? All right. Okay. <laughs> she hit me. 
Uh, hey, Adrian. Hey, I just say FOSDEM is doing a weekend, so maybe it's easier like to do a summit like this during the week and then weekend, like KubeCon. Uh, there are a lot of challenges with doing it with KubeCon, but that would be two weeks maybe, or mm -hmm. so even longer, so maybe hard as well. Yeah, okay, that's good feedback. Frozen winter challenges, that is a, yes. Jeremy, I know your, your color on Etherpad. <laughs> <laughs> But that's very fair, like the frozen tundras do not travel well during the winter. And you don't want to go to Minnesota? I, I do not want to go to Minnesota, or no, no Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> In like January? No. Um, flock Connect. I don't know that one either. Who, what's Flock Connect? Fedora Flock, Fedora Connect. Okay. Add a link. Please add a link. Where did you go? Okay. Linux, okay, yep. So another question I have, because I've realized we have a lot of PTG folks in the audience, which is great. Um, so considering like going to some of these events um, and having more of a regional perspective or like regional presence versus like making it this massive global thing, what are thoughts on, uh, we talked about this a little bit at the board meeting this week, but what are your thoughts on the PTG and, you know, does vir could virtual supplement that? I know that everyone has a varying opinion on virtual, but you know, how important is having the in-person PTG versus a virtual component? That wasn't a yes or no question. <laughs> so the virtual allows us to have more people mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. PTG. So we get more interaction that way. But as we've said throughout the week at the board meeting and other sessions, we lose some of the cross-pollination. Mm -hmm. And that's the fear. So. I don't think the answer is to have virtual and only some people show up in person, but that may be what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so a representative of it who went to virtual then comes in person. So I don't know what the exact answer is, but we have increased our diversity by having virtual, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we've limited ourselves. Diversity including newcomers as well, or is it mainly diversity for established contributors? I don't know the numbers on the new contributors. I would say diversity in projects. Okay. Diversity in projects, diversity of more people could attend because they couldn't get travel. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but I, if folks don't know about the PTG, if they're not working at a company, they may not see, oh, here's an event that's gonna be local to me that I can maybe go to and learn yep. and join. Okay, that's good feedback. Can y'all hear him? No. Mike. I'm coming to you. Yeah. So uh, my impression is that uh, virtual PTG was fine and we were able to do a lot of things in Neutron team, but there was like, if there was session to get feedback from operators, there was almost nobody and forum sessions here in person were much, uh, much better. So. It's way easier to just uh, have a big room and go from one table to another table in a moment when you just are not interested in something. So I used to uh, jump from table to table and this is really, really hard in um, a virtual PTG. And it's nice to actually um, see them in person. As always, like in big companies, everything is happening between the coffee shops <laughs> and the coffee corners. So yeah, in person. Yeah. Go ahead, Dimitri. Oh. And make sure you raise it all the way up to yourself. I, I would also say that uh, virtual PTGs were more attended with when COVID hit. 
but in the last year uh, it was like dropping, dropping, dropping when the people were returning back to offices, so it become less attendance than it was like at the beginning, so. Okay. So one other question, here's cool down though. So one other question I have when thinking about events to either co-locate it with or have a presence with Gazuntite is around who goes to, an, who has been to an open infra day or an open stack day or something like that? Okay, and who goes to their local meetups just in their community? Okay, so that I think is another option that we've thought about because a lot of the different open infra days have, you know, especially particularly in Southeast Asia, have particularly built a very large following. I think Korea had like 1,100 people last year. Um, Vietnam had several hundred. So thinking about ways to work with them. Dimitri, yeah? Sorry. Yeah, so uh, I actually have idea if we can uh, connect to these uh, local leaders. Uh, and uh, well, ask or propose them to you know, uh, get uh, speakers from different regions to mm -hmm. the events to get you know these connection links because right now I feel especially Asia is pretty much disconnected from what we are doing and they very uh, bad kind of represented or something so mm -hmm. we might not know what they want what they need and uh, so we kind of need to reconnect with these local events in a way yeah but it's basically up to like local leaders to invite some someone well, from and somewhere. Yeah, Africa. and I think the really good thing about that, though, is that we just announced the Open M for Asia and Open M for Europe hubs, and every community organizer, or almost every, from those regions is actually participating there. So I think that those hubs will actually be a vehicle to channel those conversations up to the broader global community, or that's our hope. Um, but if you'd like to participate, please let me know. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, so in terms of co-locating with an open in for a day, we'd have to be careful not to, uh, like in the Korea one, most people would be speaking Korean, right? Yes. And then we get a whole bunch of international people coming and then suddenly the fast communication is slow because we've dealt, changed the language. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that makes those the most, like, so successful, yeah. So that is our agenda, but we want to open it up for any questions or comments. Um, frustrations or it, for the production team, if y'all have any other questions that y'all would like to know. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks y'all. This is actually really helpful and feel free to keep adding to this etherpad. We are gonna keep looking at it over the next couple of weeks and as we plan for the next summit, um, but again, a huge shout out to our production team, F and Tech, who helped bring all of this to life for over 10 years, over 20 events. Uh, Tippet as well. So we have JP, Sebastian, Gabrielle. They bring all of our digital signs, our schedule, anything that your mouse clicks on, they basically help us build. Lola for all the design. And then our, the foundation staff. So me and Kendall are not the only ones. So we have Wes and Fungi and Clark and Treva and Ildico and oh, no. Thierry. I see you behind that sign. I, yeah, in a different shirt. Kristen, Helena. So yeah, we couldn't do this without all of you. And we really appreciate not only all of your feedback, but just being here this week, collaborating, talking about your open source experience. Um, have fun with Open Infra. Yeah. Thanks, y'all.